We're working on an open educational resource for figure drawing. So think like an introductory figure drawing text, but available online totally for free for anybody to use. Making something available at no cost helps to just democratize the access to the information. Another unique thing about this project is that we are really intentionally centering um, the, the images of folks whose bodies aren't usually represented in the traditional figure drawing text. So people who aren't thin, white, young, stereotypically female presenting, um, really muscular. We're trying to actually find more models to work with who represent the wide range of bodies that are out in the real world. I initially reached out to Megan asking um, if she had any resources for models that had body types that weren't like fit young 20 year olds because that's sort of um, what most people look like and those are the bodies I'm going to be taking care of as a physician. She said actually I have this project I'm working on that's like exactly that idea. The purpose of the project is for people to open this book and uh, be able to kind of draw different types of bodies and I think it's really helpful in terms of like the art world because we're kind of missing this representation especially as like the years go on I feel like it's important to have it. The summer has been a lot about like workshopping exactly what the final product is going to be like. A lot of it is producing art too and like editing it and like putting them up on the wall and like creating guides. It is really exciting to work with these students on this figure drawing project. Two of the students haven't ever taken a figure drawing class before, so it's a chance to really um, start from scratch in terms of the, the type of curriculum that this resource is gonna have in it. I'm a studio art major, and I recently started taking studio art classes last semester, and I definitely wanna expand my knowledge in terms of the arts and not limit it to kind of one medium. So I wanted to try figure drawing. I've never done it before. But expanding my knowledge and getting better at that skill, I think can help me in terms of not only drawing, but other kind of works I do. I typically like to work in kind of 3D kind of arts. So kind of translating what I learned here into different mediums like sculpture. I hope that they gain a lot of confidence in their drawing skills, that they feel like they can go out in the world and draw people really freely. And I hope that they have been able to think a little bit more deeply about representation in the context of, of figurative art and why that type of representation is really important even at the very foundational level.